Are you a photographer who takes 5,000 photos at a wedding or a food photographer with only 800 photos from your shoot? We all crave the same thing. For Lightroom to work faster! In this video, I will share seven tips with you on how to make Lightroom work faster, allowing you to save valuable time. Stay tuned for a bonus tip later in this video on how to save loads of hard drive space when backing up your Lightroom catalog. Tip number one is to make sure that you don't have a lot of other apps running on your computer. Also ensure that your browser does not have too many tabs open as it can slow down your computer's performance. Believe me when I say that browsers do eat up your performance. In fact, for optimal performance, make sure to close your internet browser. The hard drive of your computer has a significant impact on speed due to its read and write capacity. As tip number two, I strongly suggest you use an SSD drive for editing. Ensure your photos and Lightroom catalogs are loaded on the SSD as this will significantly increase the read and write speeds. I've linked the SSD I use down below. Photographers often make a major mistake when creating Lightroom catalogs by loading more than one one photo shoot into the same catalog. I've seen some photographers have up to 20 shoots in a single catalog. This will slow down your Lightroom significantly and increase the risk of catalog crashing, resulting in the loss of all your editing work done. Tip number three is to create a new catalog every shoot you do. Personally, I create the catalog in the same folder where the photos are located on my SSD drive. This makes it easy to find later and also simplifies backing up the whole job. In 2023, Lightroom underwent significant changes by adding AI features. However, tip number four highlights the downside of these AI features. Creating many AI masks or using all other tools in Lightroom can lead to a significant drop in performance. Therefore, be cautious when using features like adaptive portrait masks on a large number of photos in your catalog. To help with this issue, you can optimize your catalog's performance by going to edit in the top left menu, scrolling down to performance and clicking on optimize catalog. I would recommend you do this on a regular basis. Tip number five is to build Lightroom previews for faster Lightroom experience. There are two options you can consider and more than one way to do it. The first way is to build previews when you import photos. Before clicking on import at the bottom right of the screen, you will see the build preview option at the top right. The two options that works well well are embedded and sidebar or one-to-one -one previews. I personally use one-to-one -one previews only because I feel it gives me the best performance. I will explain this more in detail in a moment. The second way to build previews is to do it after you've already imported the photos. Make sure you're in library mode and then go to library at the top left of your screen, scroll down to previews and choose an option. I prefer using one-on-one -on -one previews because it makes your catalog snappy. The photos scroll instantly and you can zoom in and out with no loading time. The downside of building one-on-one -on -one previews is that it takes a long time. I recommend importing before finishing work for the day and letting the previews build while you enjoy some family time. Depending on your computer speed and the number of photos you are importing, this can take any anywhere from 10 minutes to 6 hours, but trust me, it will be worth it. Bonus tip time, backing up hard drive space is something we as photographers always struggle with. To save yourself a lot of hard drive space, you can do the following. Go to the folder in which your photo shoot catalog is in. Now open the catalog. You will see the file that has the Lightroom logo and the name of the catalog. You only have to back up that file to keep all the edits and it's normally under 100 megabyte size. If you back up the whole catalog, you will look at a few gig. This wedding's full catalog, for example, is almost 6.6 .6 gig. That's a huge save. Note that you will lose your previews and you will have to rebuild them for a fast viewing experience, but it's worth saving that hard drive space. Tip number six is to make sure you are using your graphics card or GPU. To do so, click on the edit at the top left of your screen. This will open up a box. Click on performance and next to use graphics processor, make sure to choose the option custom. Then select use GPU for display, then also for processing and lastly exporting. Here are two more bonus tips while you're in this menu. At camera raw cache settings, 
make sure to set the maximum size to between 40 to 100 gigabytes. The higher, the better, but ensure that you have enough space on the hard drive you are using. Number two is at develop. If you have a slow PC, consider deselecting enable hover preview of presets. I have mine enabled. Outside of Lightroom, there are a few other things that you can do, which brings us to tip number seven. I use an RTX graphics card, which uses the app GeForce Experience. Depending on the brand you use, the process may be different. Ensure that your graphics card drivers are always up to date and that you are using optimal settings for Lightroom. If you are familiar with your graphics card, you can also make a few adjustments in your graphics card control panel under 3D settings if it's available. Here are my settings. Warning, do not adjust these settings if you are unfamiliar with them as this may cause damage to your system. So earlier in this video, we spoke about those Lightroom AI masks that slows down your computer, but now that you know how to make your Lightroom faster, click on this video to see how to use those Lightroom AI masks. Click on that subscribe button, bang the like button, and don't forget the notification button. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.